Good day everyone. Welcome. This is Dr. Mike based in Hong Kong. Welcome to my YouTube channel and Facebook page. If you are not yet a subscriber, please do like, share, and subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that every time that we have a new episode, you will be notified. Before anything else, let me thank you to all the viewers and subscribers who watch and who provided feedbacks, comments, and suggestions regarding our previous episode about methanamic acid. This day, we will discuss and share you kind of information about the uses and the side effects of simvastatin. This is part of our health promotion and awareness. I believe some of our viewers, some of our friends watching tonight or today, they have been prescribed of this medication, Semvastatin. This medication is sold under the brand name Socor, among others. It's a lipid-lowering medication. This drug, if you could see in the illustration, in the video, throughout the years, because we love to eat food, and the food that we eat sometimes contains a lot of fats, triglycerides, good and bad cholesterol, and this cholesterol plaque will deposit in our arterial wall. This medication would be used to lower down the lipids, and it is used along with exercise, diet, and weight loss to decrease the elevated lipid levels, either your cholesterol, triglyceride, HDL, or LDL. It is also used to decrease the risk of heart problems in those at high risk. Simvastatin is prescribed either in the form of tablet or a suspension. This is ingested or taken by mouth. Oral tablet, the name or the brand name is Socor. Most doctors would prescribe this medication to lower down the lipid of our patient. The initial dose would be around 10 to 20 milligrams once a day. For high-risk patients, Patients with elevated cholesterol, elevated LDL or bad cholesterol, doctors may initiate at 40 milligrams orally once a day. The maintenance dose of semvastatin for patients with elevated cholesterol LDL is 5 to 10 or 5 to 40 milligrams orally once a day. And remember that the maximum dose is only until 40 milligrams per day. Next is what is the mechanism of action of this medication? Most of you might be wondering, how do this drug works? Remember that this medication, the mechanism of action, it blocks or inhibits the HMG-CoA reductase which is part of the cholesterol metabolism, which most statins do. It works by slowing the production of cholesterol in the body to decrease the amount of cholesterol that may build up on the walls of the arteries and block the blood flow to the heart, brain, and other parts of the human body. Simvastatin or SOCOR, the pharmacologic elimination Half-life is around 2 hours for simvastatin and 1.9 hours for simvastatin acid. The bioavailability of this medication is 5% with a formula of C25H3805. The major organs involved in this drug, the liver for metabolism, which utilizes the CYP3A enzyme, and it is excreted in the kidney around 13% and in the feces around 60%. In terms of the uses of this medication, simvastatin, if you could see in the picture, this is used primarily to treat dyslipidemia and to prevent atherosclerosis-related complications such as stroke, heart attacks in those who are at high risk. It is also recommended to use as an addition to the low-cholesterol diet. 
Therefore, it lowers the bad cholesterol or the low-density lipoprotein or LDL and triglyceride in the body. LDL is considered as the bad cholesterol. It also used in, to increase the good kind of cholesterol or the good cholesterol in the body, which is the high-density lipoprotein or HDL. Furthermore, this medication will slow the development of heart disease and reduce the risk of stroke. So statins in general have been proposed as beneficial in reducing the progression of age macular degeneration as well. And multiple observational studies have been conducted to analyze the benefits of statins in delaying the progression of AMD. However, some of the results are have a conflicting outcomes. In terms of the side effects of this medication, Simvastatin, it is important for those patients taking this medication that some or these are the most common side effects. Patient may experience headache, nausea, stomach pain. Some patients may experience constipation, muscle pain or weakness, joint pains, and upper respiratory infections. Common side effects is around 1% of incidents may include indigestion and sometimes eczema. However, some patients may have the serious side effects, such as rhabdomyolysis, which is a muscle breakdown, severe muscle pain or weakness. Some patients may experience muscle spasm. Some patients may experience kidney failure and because of excessive use of this medication or for a long-term period, some patients may have liver toxicity. So you always ask your doctor and do not self-medicate because it might lead to some serious side effects. Other problems may have jaundice or yellowing of the skin. Severe anemia, severe allergic reaction with symptoms such as fever and breathing, trouble breathing, rash of any kind, extreme sensitivity to the sun. Some patients may also experience diarrhea, feeling tired or weak, severe stomach pain, severe nausea or vomiting, Severe swelling of hands, feet, and ankles. If you have these side effects, please do consult. Stop the medication and consult with your doctor. Remember that this medication is contraindicated among pregnant patients. Simvastatin is contraindicated with pregnancy, breastfeeding, and liver disease. Because pregnancy must be avoided while on simvastatin due to potentially severe birth defects. Patient cannot breastfeed while on simvastatin due to the potentially disrupting the infant's lipid metabolism. And in high doses of simvastatin are also contraindicated with the widely used antihypertensive drug, particularly amlodipine. A lower dose is recommended in people taking the calcium channel blockers, verapamil and diltiazem, as well as those taking amiodarone. Always remember that this medication, simvastatin, has important interaction with grapefruit juice and other drugs, including some that are commonly used for the treatment of cardiovascular disease. These interactions are clinically important because of the increasing simvastatin serum levels above those normally provided increase. Those increase the risk of muscle damage, 
including the otherwise rare and potentially fatal side effect of rhabdomyolysis. Consuming large amount of grapefruit juice increases the level of simvastatin by up to threefold increase the risk of the side effects. So be very careful, viewers and subscribers, in taking simvastatin together with grapefruit. Always remember, viewers and subscribers, that if you're taking simvastatin, it is used along with the proper diet to help lower bad cholesterol and fats, such as the low-density lipoprotein or triglyceride, and raise the good cholesterol or HDL in the blood. You should always have a lifestyle modification or changes, which may help you and the medication to work better, which will include proper exercise, losing weight if you're overweight, and stop smoking. Once again, this is Dr. Mike. I hope you have learned again about simvastatin, the uses and the side effects of simvastatin. Before taking this medication, you need to have a baseline lipid screening test or lipid profile and consult with your doctor. Do not self-medicate because it might lead to some serious side effects. So once again, this is Dr. Mike. I hope you did like this episode. And if you like this episode, please do comment. Share this episode to your friends who are taking Simvastatin. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that in our next episode, you will be notified. Watch out our next episode because I will be discussing all about paracetamol or Panadol. Remember to stay happy, stay healthy, and be nice to all. This is Dr. Mike, and see you with our next episode.